What's going on everybody? This is Future Automation, a place where imagination meets reality and you are listening to Tejas. So guys, first of all, I would like to say sorry for this so late after one month video for those who were waiting for my video all and I would like to say thanks for waiting although and there was another unfortunate news that was uh, the GTA 5 last video which was about uh, creating an application and like console and attaching it with the connecting it with the network code and then controlling the GTA 5 will be uh, recorded but not uh, now I will have to wait for a while again for that so uh, that was just a quick update about uh, what was the situation here uh, the development of the application that I was going to do I'm not good in Android although but uh, with the help of my bro obviously uh, we both are having some works to deal with that's why I was not able to finish that but we'll complete that soon and now um, today I'm going to continue with the Amazon automation part 2 video which will be dealing with adding the product to the cart for those who are interested in lightning deals can check on this also um, there will be few tweaks which will be needed to do uh, for if you are going to work with the lightning deals although but um, uh, pretty much basics are quite similar so those who are new again they can go and watch the previous video and those who are already having a basic knowledge of civil selenium welcome on board so with a cup of coffee let's get started <coughs> So guys in previous video of Amazon automation we have seen how we can work with the uh, drop down menus uh, using the action chains library and we can click on that menu perform the hover operations and we can uh, sign login into the Amazon and today we are going to deal with uh, in you uh, what we can say adding a text to the text box that already has been uh, covered in most of the selenium videos because anyhow some or the either place we always encounter a text box to deal with so here we are going to put our desired product that we are looking to buy next to that we are going to map the main page where all the products are being displayed and based upon some validation we are going to uh, select a product and then we are going to add it to the cart and then we are going to proceed to the next page now here in this video uh, I would like to mention that the video is only limited still a place where you select the address for the delivery after that the payment option and everything is totally based upon what approach you are expecting like if you are expecting an approach of uh, paying directly before the shipping so that uh, that is another scenario where we have to deal with different kind of elements in the web page and if you are going to do cash on delivery then that is totally different case we are going to deal with so <coughs> here uh, we are only going to limit ourselves to this page where we are going to select different addresses and later on you can uh, refer the previous videos and you can try uh, completing this part if you have by any means you have any issues of or you are stuck somewhere feel free to directly contact me through Instagram to Facebook or through you can uh, comments you can uh, add your comments I'll be happy to answer I have uh, I usually answer most of the comments uh, so that people will never have to uh, wait or struggle for finding the answers to their questions so don't hesitate to uh, send your comments to me or DM me on Instagram there also I'll surely uh, answer your questions now here uh, the part of the validation is that uh, if whenever we are selecting this list of products there are few products which are not available 
and a basic trick to figure out which product we have to select here now for this particular scenario there are a whole lot of approaches which we can take the pro program can show you the list of products and you can select one of them or you can say that uh, hey python just uh, give me the best product and it will uh, search based upon the ratings and the another few more factors which are which are used or which can be used for uh, getting a desired product like amazon best seller and all this if those tags are there then we can buy that so there are a lot of approaches and lot of ways we can go ahead i have kept it pretty simple because i don't want to make it more complicated for people who are just uh, here to understand new things or look at new things so that they can easily get started with the selenium amazon automations okay so here what exactly i have done is i have figured i have tried to search whether the price of that particular product is available in that short section of the list of prices uh, of the products and if the price is available then obviously we can directly add it to the cart by clicking on that product and clicking on the uh, what we can say cart clicking on the cart so next to that is that if we are uh, having that boolean value true means that that we can buy that product directly by clicking on it and going to the cart then yes we are going to click uh, on that page now here the way amazon website acts when you click on a product is it will open another page uh, another page on the window so that you have to you can go there and you can buy that product or uh, search for the details and specifications so here those who have watched my previous videos they know that i have given some basics of the selenium where we can switch between different windows we can close them open them and open them and a lot of stuff so here we are going to deal with switching between different windows that is two windows we are going to navigate to the second window and we are going to perform the rest of the actions so here we are going to click on the uh, add to cart button and here we are going to click on the proceed now you might be thinking that why i am going so fast the reason behind that is the basics of accessing each and every element is already been explained in the previous videos for those who are new so don't forget to check them out the selenium github series so there you will get the basics of listing the products and uh, in iterating through the list of products and accessing their uh, properties and all that stuff so i'm not going to re-explain everything but i'll try to keep it as simple as possible now here the short section of this particular code is being explained now let's execute it and see how it is going to work out now again don't forget usually whenever you are going to create such uh, codes where you are going to deal with logging in make sure you create another file for login details so that both the uh, sections are totally isolated from each other and they are only referring through a certain kind of variables and references so let's go ahead and work it out So anytime we are working on any kind of projects there are a lot of possibilities that we can uh, work out like if you are considering Facebook now the Facebook has changed its uh, UI so again we have to redeal with it starting from the login part and till the such a uh, still the status where we have reached in the Facebook automation so that is uh, pretty uh, what we can say double work I can say but it is quite fun because we can deal with the newer version of Facebook so that's again good bad both ways uh, so uh, don't forget to comment me whether we can uh, go ahead with the new ui or uh, we can just uh, leave it the way we had done till where and also don't forget to try it yourself now here you can see that the second item is not having the pricing and whenever we are going inside that particular product then we can see that see all the buying options and everything we have to deal with lot of uh, products uh, we have to deal with lot of options there now here you can see that we have come to a, a situation where we are able to see the uh, delivery addresses and we can select one of them so here uh, that's all from my side where we are going to stop 
the part of buying a product and here from here you can go ahead and try to figure out where you can deal with the rest of the product rest of the process so um, that's all from today's video that we can get of uh, accelerating a product and adding it to cart and proceeding for buying so guys here i just want to say that there are a lot of other possibilities that we can take an approach on like whole amazon process can be automated based upon selenium like selecting the orders uh, returning the orders checking the status of the order checking the ratings of the order and i will try to automate each aspect so that uh, it will be a bigger project which people can just combine the code and they can check on what all the uh, uh, what all the new doorways can be opened in automating amazon website so it is applicable in most of the uh, parts where selenium basics are clear then you can implement the selenium in all the sections so thank you guys for watching this video and thank you for all the people viewers who have waited for my video and have commented in all the previous videos and asked the questions so that even i will have to scratch my head and uh, work on the question answers of the questions so thank you everyone and lastly i would like to say what i usually say at the end of the video that is keep innovating but before that if you like the video don't forget to subscribe my channel do like it share it and for any questions comments quer queries don't forget to drop your comments in the comment box be safe keep innovating thank you guys take care